Okay, it's been recorded. Cool. All right. Um, so welcome to the office hours um, for the 11th of September, 2019. Uh, on the call, we have myself, Tim Jacob, Oleg, John and Joseph. Um, today, we'll start off with any... So since the last meeting, I think we've had 16 days ago. So we've had one release, um, which is <laughs> not very exciting. Um, the logs were adding an extra space than what they needed. Um, but when people were testing against configuration as code, they were having to add that space in. Um, and we wanted to fix that before it got too wide so we didn't have to update too many places. Um, that's because we're working on adding configuration as code to the Jenkins bomb. Um, and we had some compatibility problems with the plugin. Plugin compatibility tester was highlighting uh, issues with tests not passing on new versions of configuration as code. Uh, here we go. Um, so I think all of the, yeah, so here, I think all the pull requests have been merged. Um, we're just waiting on releases. Um, just waiting on release of SSH Snow, which one? I think it's SSH Credentials plugin, is that right, Joseph? Uh, I can't remember, actually. Um, I know, I think uh, SSH Credentials was done by uh, Matt. Um, uh, maybe, oh, I think it's SSH Slaves then. Yeah. Kurtz, who has to do... Yeah, yeah, okay. So once once that's done, we should be unblocked on um, adding it to the bomb. Uh, it should be quite nice. It means that the people updating the bomb will be will keep keep up to date, and we'll get some good plugin compatibility testing through the bomb as well. Um, plugin site updates. So um, the work to pull documentation in from um, GitHub instead of the wiki has been deployed. Um, there are a couple issues with uh, configuration as code, but they, that's in relating to, I think, the image that's all been fixed now. Um, so the documentation's looking quite, quite nice. Yeah, so basically we migrated around 30 plugins by now. And the, uh, the total number of uh, plugins using uh, GitHub is up to 50. So, yeah. It's a nice progress in the Jenkins ecosystem. Uh, yeah, if you're making mini plugins, uh, you consider immigrating because yeah, you can get rid of the wiki almost. Nice. Yeah, I don't, I don't use it at all. Um, how, how do you know that how many plugins use GitHub for the documentation? Uh, I can show. Mm, uh, so I would need uh, to share the screen though. Okay, do you see my screen? Yeah. Yay. Uh, so yeah, it's a part of uh, Jenkins update site project. So we have a repository update center uh, two. So this is the code base which basically generates uh, Jenkins update uh, site, and it's also being used uh, by uh, third parties. So yeah, you can basically use it for internal hosting. For example, Rake uh, uses it for internal stuff. Uh, there are other projects like Giuseppe. But uh, our plugin site basically uses uh, Jenkins Update uh, Center um, and uh, as a source of information. And in addition uh, to common metadata, there are also a few files being generated. And one file is plugin documentation URLs. So basically, right. it's a JSON file uh, which exists specifically for the update site. And here, well, yeah. There is no prettify option, so uh, bear with that. But uh, if you want to know how many plugins use uh, GitHub, you can just search. So yeah, you can see that now there are 50 here. Uh, it uh, lists only released plugins. So we have many plugins which were migrated uh, to GitHub uh, but haven't been released yet. So yeah. um, these changes are pending. But yeah, here you can discover 50 plugins. The most of them uh, will work. So basically, if you and this just if you just put your repository URL, it will work. Uh, if you put something else, uh, so there are some examples where custom links are being used. So for example, here Pragma references would have a cool. I have no idea what it is. Or there is, for example, Chef plugin which uses uh, uh, 
Medeja chat plugin, so it will build Signal because it uses another uh, GitHub organization. It's not supported right now. Uh, but yeah, the most of plugins here, uh, which are listed, uh, actually get deployed and visualized by the plugin site. So that's how you discover that. And yeah, if you look for configuration as code, uh, as code. So yeah, you can see that we have some plugins. So one is configuration as code plugin. Uh, it references uh, GitHub. Configuration as code Groovy, configuration as code secret SSM, and configuration as code support uh, basically reference nothing. So if you go to these plugin pages, you will like to just see Wiki. We can try. Oh, nothing. No, nothing. Well, it depends on whether the plugin site uh, is able to uh, find Wiki. Well, he definitely cannot. So probably it's uh, one of the improvement opportunities for us because, well, I wouldn't say that this documentation is uh, extensive, but at least it's some documentation. Yeah, it's, it's better than what's there now. Yeah. So yeah, it's something which uh, anybody could contribute to the JCASCK system just by defining things. So these pages start working. Okay. Cool. Any other questions about uh, the plugin site? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, configuration as code support is maybe a separate story because, yeah, I guess it depends on um, Joseph's uh, fix for deprecating plugins. Because once we have an engine for deprecating plugins, I can also reflect it on the plugin side. Currently, if you go to uh, this site, you get, oh, basically, uh, there is nothing. Well, there is deprecated label here. But yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, yeah, we could improve it a bit later. Could publish the documentation that says do not use this. Uh, that's one option. Another option is to just uh, check this label and put really big warning here. Yeah. Or have the deprecation engine support that the, yeah, right. the plugin site knows that it should display a, a warning yeah, right. that does for security? Well, uh, it's pretty easy. So if it's a deprecated label, so even without uh, any additional logic, I can uh, display a warning here. I will actually create a full-up ticket for that because it seems uh, to be a good improvement. For the plugin site, definitely, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we oh. still need to fix updates on there, but the uh, well, plugin site would be also nice. Anyway, it's going down, so yeah, it's uh, 300 installations less than it was in May. So, yeah, we are doing good progress there. Well, with the, hopefully with the deprecation engine, I would like to support like automatic uninstall when mm -hmm. the version matrix is correct. Like, I hope we can have some version matrix that then just auto-install if it detects all the right versions are like installed and gets rid of like the support plugin, for instance. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Okay, so yeah, I'll probably just stop sharing the screen so that we return to common agenda. Cool. Um, we have one pending change, um, which is an enhancement um, for allowing check for null to override parameters and non-null by default. Um, I suppose it was done for the SonarQ plugin, uh, which has a compatibility issue right now, and to allow the to, to allow that plugin to be fixed in a easier way, uh, it's a pending release at the moment. May may release it today, but just catch up with that later on. Um, plugin site updates, recent compatibility fixes. So Mailer plugin um, has just had a new version out, which fixed all of the issues with it, I believe. Yeah, so plugin is fully compatible with JCAS now. Cool. Mm -hmm. Security whitelist filter, is it? I... Is that script security or something else? No, it's something else. Uh, yeah, it's a request like this filter that I'll uh, link that. Uh, regarding script security, uh, uh, that is a pull request. The yeah. uh, data approvals, uh, so basically we are waiting for maintenance uh, to the solution to open it. 
There's something very wrong with your mic, Oleg, if you're not aware. Sorry? There's something very wrong with your mic. Yeah, no, that's part I heard. Uh, I apologize for the fact that something is wrong. Okay, yeah. I'll uh, use an, uh, different headphones next time. Yeah, script security looks very close to being merged. It's been pending for a very long time. Yeah, right. Am I missing any other plugins? Uh, yeah, I'm subscribed to the dashboard, but I haven't looked uh, 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 for the meeting. Uh, yeah, I've got a pull request for the build monitor plugin, but it seems abandoned. Mm -hmm. it's, it's also not in the Jenkins, Jenkins CI org as well, which makes it more difficult. <laughs> Yeah, right. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. It's the one we're of anyway. Mm -hmm. um, ongoing development. So we've already discussed JKS to bomb. Um, we just need their release on SSH slaves, which he said he would do this week. Uh, GitHub documentation we've already discussed. Uh, Jason schema. Um, so Sladen has got a pull request for that, um, which is working. Um, in, in the current approach, um, it works to at least validate types, that, and it's a schema that's not broken, uh, which is a lot better than what we currently have. Uh, doesn't, oh yeah, this, this is the right pull request. Um, so that's pending review. I've, I've reviewed it and I'm, happy enough with it to if we can get it merged soon there's more work to be done but um we just need to decide whether we're going to link to the schema in this version or whether we add that later currently it's not linked to anywhere you have to know the url um but if, yes. progress is not that large but it'll be good so that we can merge it soon and iterate on it yeah i would rather merge it as soon as possible because yeah basically there is a parallel pull request which uh, marks a json schema as a better feature yeah, so it means that it gives us enough freedom, basically, to press it as we wish. Uh, but yeah, in the current state, it is unusable anyway. So I'm perfectly fine with half-made feature if uh, this half works better than the current state. <laughs> yeah, so it certainly works better than the completely broken one. Um, I think yeah, the only comment is: Do we want to change the link to point to this one now, or do we want to just leave it unlinked in this pull request? Mm. So if you feel uh, the current uh, schema is better than, uh, well, that new schema is better than the current schema, yeah, just replace it. Yeah, I think so. I, th I think so too, yeah. Just replace okay. it. Okay. Okay, well, well, we'll catch up with Slayton after this and he can watch the recording as well. Mm -hmm. um, but hopefully we can get this merged this week. Okay, plus one. Um, so we've got the... Um, sister read pull request, she's, um, hasn't, well, hasn't really had any changes since I think Daniel Beck's the only one who's reviewed it slightly. Um, not sure what we can do to get that moving along. Yeah, I can take a look uh, to get it over the line. So basically, yeah, we will heads down with the new LCS cutoff because yeah, we've got, um, well, two or three regressions to process, um, but yeah, I think that uh, uh, this pull request also can move uh, ahead. So it definitely improves the situation. Um, we need to look at the compatibility concerns, but yeah, the rest uh, is more or less fine. Um, yeah, I also linked uh, to the read-only system configuration plugin, which was created uh, by Red Hat a while ago. Uh, did you have a, a chance to look at it? Uh, yeah, I have. I have looked at it. Um, yeah, it, it parses the jelly and rewrites the jelly before passing it to the user. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I know um, Baptiste has said that. He, um, I think it was Baptiste uh, when the, when they were doing some compatibility work, it affected that plugin, and when he tried to use that plugin, he couldn't get it working in certain situations. So I'm not sure how complete it is. Um, I'm not sure how, how many installs it has. Mm -hmm. read, uh, read only Jenkins. Oh, is it? Not that one. Do you know what the name of the plugin is? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for it right now because I also forgot the link. 
Yeah, it's this one. I, I had seen it before. I, I looked at it before I started on um, the pull request. Yeah, the download configuration plugin. Um, uh, yeah, put that in for the meeting notes. It's got a thousand installs and in last released five years ago. No, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I haven't tested it myself, but I suspect it doesn't work or doesn't work completely. Yeah, right. To use Ascension Core. So, yeah, why I brought it up, just to understand whether it makes sense uh, to use it as a base, for example, for the uh, permission plugin. I mean, uh, that's, uh, the additional plugin we use uh, to apply reflection magic and offer APIs for uh, all the core dependencies. So, yeah, if we uh, if this plugin is not suitable, we can just move on. And yeah, once uh, the story is done, uh, hopefully this plugin can be considered as uh, deprecated. Yeah, 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 definitely would be deprecated. Um, there's only the, the only API in this um, this plugin. Uh, It just tries to look up the permission. Um, so it just, yeah, just links to a system read permission. It tries to look it up, and if it doesn't exist, it falls back to administer. Which is exactly what we need uh, to offer API uh, to consumers. So I guess, yeah, the, such micro plugin is uh, perfectly fine. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, very simple. Yeah, having the part of something would be nice, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, while I'm here. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, yeah, I'll try to take a look at the Jenkins pull request uh, this week. Cool. There was a comment here. From, I think this was just copied out from last time. Um, about a dev list thread. I'm not sure exactly what was going to be on there. Uh, well, nothing really happened. So basically the intention uh, of this discussion was uh, to discuss features we would like to have uh, in the Jenkins core by the next LTS baseline. Uh, and uh, send this list to the developer community. So maybe we could facilitate some contributions to that. Right. This is the list we discussed at the last meeting. And yeah, basically, if somebody wants to add something to this list, um, then uh, yeah, just to do that. Cool. Cool. They all look very useful. Mm -hmm. um, and we're skipping the community bridge updates because Sladen wasn't able to make it today. Mm -hmm. Cool. Has anyone got anything else? Well, nothing from me. Uh, yeah, one comment about community bridge, please vote for the meeting times. Uh, because yeah, we still do not have a regular meeting slot for JCASC developer tools. Um, and yeah, for me, it's really hard uh, to find time every week. Yeah, if we can, I don't think I have a thing to vote on at the moment. I, I voted initially. Uh, I don't know if it's, I don't know if there's been a new one sent out. Uh, he's, he's sent a meeting invite tomorrow that I can't make. Um, so I've declined it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's see what we can do there. Okay. Cool. Any other topics to discuss today? Anything from you, John? I'm just trying to get back in to speed. Been part of the loop for a long time. Yeah. So. You guys hear me? Yep. Yes. Yeah, is there audio? Yep. Okay, cool. This is new, new headphones, so just first time I have to try to speak with them. Mm -hmm. I got nothing. Okay, so welcome back. Thank you. Okay. So maybe one additional topic to discuss while uh, we are there. Uh, so on October 1st, uh, we will have Hacktoberfest. Uh, 
Yeah, so there is, um, uh, well, if you don't mind, I'll share the screen for a second. Sure. Uh, just to show, okay, not this button. Um, Okay, do you see my screen? Yep. Uh, yes, so there is a point discussion about uh, Oktoberfest. Uh, it's, uh, it's pretty much like in the previous year. So from October 1st to October uh, uh, 30th, yeah, or 31, uh, yeah, whatever, we will have Oktoberfest. Uh, so it will be uh, an online hackathon where everybody is able to contribute. We also try to organize some on-site events. So for example, uh, there uh, will be one event in Switzerland, one event in Munich, one event in China, and home, hopefully one event in St. Petersburg. And if there are meetup organizers, we also invite you to do so. Um, what is specific to Jenkins configuration as code project is that uh, yeah, last year we had configuration as code plugin here uh, on the list. Uh, at that point, uh, yeah, we had only a few newbie friendly tickets. But uh, I think that uh, this year we could uh, have some more. So, for example, this documentation migrations, whatever smaller features uh, uh, or whatever integration tests. So if somebody would be interested to just create a bunch of uh, newbie friendly tickets, it would be nice so that uh, yeah, we could facilitate some contributions to the plugin. So yeah, that's why I wanted to bring it up. So if you have any ideas what could be done uh, there, well, let's do that. I struggle there. I find, I find that JKS isn't the most newbie friendly plugin. It's very reflection heavy and Jenkins internals heavy. Mm, you're right. But for example, integration pairs uh, or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Hard to say. Some bits could be done. Uh, so, yeah, if you have any ideas or maybe just uh, creating demos. I'm not sure this folder seems to be pretty useful according to traffic stats. So maybe we could just suggest creating new demos uh, for plugins where you have issues often. So yeah. There is a nice work in progress pull request that actually tries to consume these demos from the integration plugin now. Yeah, I was just about to mention that. There's an annotation configured with demo um, which pulls the integration test config from the demos folder rather than the class path. Yeah, it's uh, the pull request from Victor Martinez, I guess, this one. Uh, yeah, nope. but it's the new one at the top. He's... Yeah. Uh, where... the top. All the way up top. Oh, okay. Yeah, that one is cool. So, yeah. I definitely need to take a look at that. But yeah, originally it started as a Hacktoberfest last year, when which we had in Nice. So maybe this Hacktoberfest we could uh, get it over the line. Ah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah, it doesn't necessarily have to be newbie friendly. So newbie friendly tickets uh, kind of addition, but uh, there is a chance that we will uh, uh, have experienced contributors as well. Yeah, there's probably a few we can stick. Hacktoberfest, is it Hacktoberfest labels or newbie friendly or both? Mm, so last year we were just relying uh, on this list. So we yeah, GitHub issues, uh, Jira query. So let's see what we have in the list now. Uh, recommend how to add a description to Jenkins made the video. Okay, but yeah, definitely could be more. <laughs> And definitely could be more here. So yeah, so the filter um, in uh, Jira is JCAS compatibility, DevTools compatibility, or anything in uh, components. So for example, when I create tickets to move documentation uh, to GitHub for this plugin, so they will appear here and they will be definitely new friendly. 
but yeah, uh, having uh, more issues would make sense. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you have something in mind, please don't hesitate to just uh, create them. Okay. So yeah, thanks for your time. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And yeah, see you in two weeks. I'll stop yeah. the recording. Bye, guys.